The European Parliament election campaign was not very present in the streets of Croatia. And when it came to the vote last Sunday, only one in five Croatians who were entitled to cast the ballot actually did so. 750,000 voters for 12 MEPs, only half as many as when Croatia voted on EU membership in January 2012. When the poll closed on Sunday night, it turned out that the conservative HDZ list, which is currently the opposition party in Croatia, had done a slightly better job at mobilizing its voters than the Social Democrat SDP. The HDZ won by a thin majority of 33% over the SDP's 32. HDZ took half of Croatia's 12 seats, with five going to the SDP and one seat to the left-wing Labour Party, which had gained close to 6% of the vote. Out of the 28 groups that had presented national lists, none other yielded a sufficient result to send an MEP to Brussels. And due to massive abstention with the Eurosceptic part of Croatia's population, not one MEP will represent this interest. In a crisis-stricken country, where almost a fourth of workers is without a job, many voters were carefully optimistic about the prospects of EU membership. <laughs> Given Croatia's grim economic situation, it didn't come as a big surprise that the ruling Social Democratic Party yielded a fairly poor result. In a way, I feel a little bit disappointed that my list is not clearly winner, but I think the values we are uh, trying to prove and communicate to the people of the Croatia will be very plastic transferred into the Strasbourg and Brussels and I believe that feedback will be more efficient next year on the regular European Parliament elections. The newly elected 12 MEPs will only take office for roughly 10 months, from the 1st of July this year until the European elections in May 2014, when most of them may stand for re-election.